Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here, and today I have a 31-bit random number generator in one command. Now, it's kind of funny to say that because it's probably not the one command you're thinking of. It doesn't summon any more command blocks, run any functions, or anything like that. It's just a single line of code in the command block right here. Now, this generates a random number from 0 all the way to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1, which is this really long number right here, and also Minecraft's scoreboard limit. So, let's just go ahead and run it. And here we go, we have a bunch of random numbers generating, and we can just look at this list in chat. And another feature this has is that since it works using binary, if you set the number right here to something like 16, this actually makes 16 the max bit. So now it's going to generate a random number from 0 to 31. So let's go ahead and run that. And now you can see we have a whole list of random numbers all the way from 0 to 31. So yeah, that's pretty much it for showing uh, the randomizer and how it works. So it's basically one command and then three entities. Uh, let's get into the explanation on how this is done. Okay, so the method this uses to generate random numbers is assigning binary values to a random armor stand. I'm not sure how many people use this method, but the first person I saw use it and the one who introduced it to me was Emerald Fire. So I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description if you want a longer explanation and maybe to see what this would look like if it's not all in one command. Okay, so let's go on with a little explanation of how it works. So basically, it's just going to repeat two steps over and over and over again. The first step is it randomly selects an armor stand on the red wool and adds the score of the armor stand on the blue wool to itself. And then the armor stand on the blue wool, its score is doubled by adding its own score to itself. So let's go ahead and run the first step. We can see it chose the armor stand on the right and added one to it. Go ahead and click it again. It doubles it by adding, it, by adding the score to itself. Run it again. You can see this now added two to it. And then we double this score again. We run it again, and you can see this time it shows the armor stand on the left. We run it again, this turns into 8. We end up getting 11 here, 3 plus 8. We end up getting 16 from doubling, and then it chooses the armor stand on the left. Now, this is the highest I chose to go just for the demonstration. And to get a random number, we would now just choose one of the armor stands, preferably the same one you'd want to choose every time. So in this instance, we just choose the one on the right and take its score every time, and that's how we generate the random number. But the real trick here, of course, is how it's done with just one single command block, which is what I'm going to demonstrate next. Okay, so before I put the command on screen, let's quickly go over the setup. So each of the highlighted armor stands right now has a tag of random. For the armor stands on the red wool, it doesn't matter which one has this tag, it just has to be one of them and not the other. Okay, so you should see the command on your screen now, and let's go over the highlighted part first. So the highlighted part of the command will run the, uh, the portion of the command at the end after run, so scoreboard player's operation. It's going to run that 2 to the power of n times, where n is the amount of times you have as that entity tag equals random. So in this case, we have that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So it's going to run that portion of the command 2 to the power of 6 times. Now, the reason this works is because we're executing at two entities and then at two again, two again, two again, two again, two again, a total of six times. So it's, we're going to end up with two to the power of six. And um, then let's focus quickly on this little portion where we have sort equals furthest. Now, we're assuming that the command is run closer to the armor stand on the blue wool. If it's not, if, for instance, you're putting it in a function, just make sure that this command is executed at the location of the armor stand on the blue wool because we have sort equals furthest so that the one on the red wool is run first and then the one on the blue wool is run after that because that way we're doing the steps in order. If we do the steps out of order, we're going to end up with only even numbers, which is probably not what you want. Okay, so then we have this portion where we have at at s. This is just making sure it's executing at the location of the armor stand itself. And then, of course, this is the important part where we're performing the steps. We have scoreboard player's operation, and then what it's doing is it's choosing one of the armor stands within a distance of one, now, I know the armor stands on the red wool aren't within a distance of one of each other, but just pretend they are because when you're actually making it, they're supposed to be in the same location. I just moved them further apart so that you could see that easier. So it chooses one of them randomly, and then it adds the armor stand with a name of blue wool. It doesn't have to be named blue wool. I just named it so that it's easier to see, and then it's adding its random score. 
So for the armor stand on the red wool, it's going to choose a random one between each of them. So it's just going to choose a random armor stand on the red wool. But for the armor stand on the blue wool, it's the only one there. So even though it's random, it has to choose itself no matter what. So it's just going to double its score by adding its own score to itself. So yeah, you can see that that's how it repeats the steps over and over again. And then it's just doing it. Uh, I know I said it runs two to the power of six times, but because there's two armor stands and we're doing it individually, each armor stand only runs the command two to the power of 32 times. And that's actually one more over the scoreboard limit, which is two to the power of 31 minus one, which is why we have these scores equal random equal one dot 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 because it ends up turning into a negative number at the end for the blue wool armor stand. And we don't want that carried over, which is why we have a random minimum of one there, uh, just so we don't get that carried over. And yeah, I hope that made sense. I tried to do my best explaining it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry my voice was kind of raspy. It just decided to be like that today for no reason, but I was really excited and wanted to upload, so I, I uploaded anyway. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a download link in the description if you want to check out the world. I'm also going to put the command down there if you just want to look at the command. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.